Hey right there, welcome back to the first trio and and it's me alone. So what are we gonna talk about? Is we're gonna talk about something you may notice. It's called a neutrino. Neutrino is looks like a V, but it's actually an N in Greek and a lower case later later is this. And neutrinos are tiny. They're so tiny that some if something that's smaller than this, it, there's only a string and string theory, plant lengths, and the and uh, the quantum form. Okay, so what are we gonna talk about today? We said a neutrino. But how small is a neutrino? Well, if you look at htwins.net or .com slash, if you look at the scale of the universe too, you, if you drag, 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 so you get really small, there will be a neutrino, and then there's nothing here, and then, there are Planck lengths, which is 10 to the minus 30, blah, 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 blah. And finally, there's a string, minus 36, 10 to the... String you're using kites are a lot bigger than that. Well, so, neutrinos are small, but how does they used? Well, neutrinos are very hard to detect. It's like catching a bullet with a net. I mean, a very butterfly net. These nets, so how do you detect it? Well, one thing first. Fill up a tank with water. There's light curves and slows down. A pass of electrons will knock off and the electrons will go way faster. If you don't understand, watch the metaphysics video by Neutrino and that's how we detect a neutrino, and the biggest neutrino detector is in, an, in Antarctica. It uses a whole sheet of ice for a polar, for how to detect a neutrino. But a neutrino is, well, neutrino don't observe light, so they are completely invisible. But well, why do we know that neutrinos exist? Well, neutrinos are, I said, small. They're even smaller than quarks. Let's try it like this. Which is, there are three quarks. And a proton, or neutron. And, well, and then, we all know what atoms. Well, you can go to my channel, The Weekly Science, to see my first and I think only the video, The Weekly Atoms. You know, that's fun to watch. But makes things even harder. It's a neutrinos. So, some studies such as the neutrino spout travel faster than the speed of light, which is 299. 792 and 458 meters per second. Now, okay, so that's this was the today's neutrino. And great lectures are, you know, awesome. They have alpha and beta and gamma and, well, delta, epsilon, k and Rho, pi, tau. Oh, your pi and tau are interesting. Pi and tau are have the most important. Pi three point one four one five nine two six five. Da da da. Tau six point two eight three one eight five three zero oh, seven. Da da da. Pi and tau are most interesting things on the universe and a final warning don't forget to be awesome
Bye-bye.